Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the Netimo Urban Weather Station. What it is and what it does. Um, it's a, uh, a neat little weather station that will not only tell you the temperature inside and outside your house, but also give you some other relevant information to help you determine how comfortable things really are. And uh, in some cases, like CO2, if your home might have some, uh, uh, some things that may be slightly hazardous to your health. So we're going to look at it and see how it works and talk about the functionality of the unit. Okay, so this is the uh, display from my iPad, the application, and what it shows here is outside, it's 59.4 degrees, humidity, and then what it feels like, and that's going to take into effect uh, the humidity levels and other things outside, so it feels like 59 degrees. Then below, it shows the indoor temperature from where the, the inside unit is stationed. It shows you how many parts per million of CO2 is uh, in that room or that area. And then it also shows you the noise level. Uh, so there's lots of information that's just right here on this dashboard. And below it, it connects to a weather service and it will tell you the long-term forecast for, uh, for your temperature and um, wind speeds and such. But really what is interesting is the, kind of the, the urban weather station portion of it, which is this command panel. Now you can push, and, and what is really, um, for some st stat geeks like myself, that's really interesting is that it will trace the temperature, both indoors and outdoors. So here you can see for the last week where our temperatures have peaked in, in the valley. So, you know, as you'd expect, at night it's the lowest, during the day it's the warmest. So this is outdoor temperature. But it will also do something like CO2. And what's neat about this is that how accurate it really can be. So this is the CO2 levels in my home, or in the room that we have it's positioned. And right here you see these little bumps? That's actually when, in the middle of the night, when we got up to use the restroom. <laughs> so it is extremely accurate in, the, in, in its ability to pick up the various CO2 levels. And anything over about 800 becomes a slight concern. Um, over 1,000, and you, you might actually start experiencing a little bit of an effect from, from having C too much CO2 in your room. So this is one thing that's it's very interesting. Um, next, sound meter. This tells you how much um, sound is in the ambient room. So you can see here in our room it was pretty high, and that's because at night we actually run a sound machine. So you can see where we turn it on and we turn it off. And this is uh, in the morning where we were up and, uh, and about in, the, in our bedroom. So uh, uh, anything over about 75 to 80 will be considered uncomfortable. And again, it all goes back into this display unit to give you a factor within your home on the overall environment. So right here it says our overall environment is pretty good because the CO2 levels aren't too high and there's very little sound and it's at a very comfortable 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, here is the outdoor modules placement. Now, one of the things that's important is to keep it out of direct sunlight and keep it so it's not exposed to rain. Now, that sounds a little easier than what it is, so you have to find a dry spot that again, that's out of, completely out of the sun so it doesn't artificially heat up. I'm using it here in my uh, covered patio. So keep that in mind when you, if you're looking to purchase this, you do need to find a spot that is completely out of the sun and it won't allow the unit to get wet. Speaking of it not getting wet, I think they've missed a bit of, a, uh, of, uh, of an opportunity if, if they could have actually made the unit um, collect rain data as well. So if you could find out how much precipitation you had in the course of a day, that would be a, a nice additional feature. In addition to that, if you had the ability to determine wind speeds, the, uh, you could transmit things like windshield factors and other, other relevant data. So uh, while there's a lot of things to like about the Netabo uh, Urban Weather Station, there are a couple of other opportunities for them to improve. Okay, you saw the outdoor modules placement. Now this is the indoor modules placement. Um, it, it can accept a AC adapter. It will also take batteries, whereas the outside module will only accept batteries, which is actually kind of nice because it doesn't tether you to a, a wall outlet. The indoor module is very um, sensitive. I showed how that just small amounts of CO2 changes in the room will register around the device. Um, it, it's easily hidden. I actually keep it behind a picture frame. Uh, and, and of course, again, you would want to keep it out of direct exposure to the sun, but on the inside, that's a much less of an issue. Okay, a few final thoughts on the Netimo Urban Weather Station. I find myself using this thing often throughout the day. I especially like the ability to be able to graph temperatures um, outside and see what, how cold it was at different times during the day. 
Now I know that makes me a bit of a weather geek, but uh, hey, my, my, my dad still watches the Weather Channel for about six hours a day, so I get it naturally. Uh, it, it really does have a lot of uh, functionality to it. I wish it had the ability to measure precipitation and wind speeds, but hey, maybe there'll be a module in the future that will also uh, allow it to expand. So from, from my perspective, it's a, it's a very interesting and, and kind of a cool little gadget for anyone that has any interest in the weather.